Why is milk, cheese, and butter so bad for us? And what are the effects on the body uh, when you have too much dairy? Okay. What is in dairy is not just a sprinkling of calcium, which is what the, what the advertisements say. The number one constituent of a glass of milk, aside from the water, is sugar. Made in a cow's body, it's lactose sugar. That's the number one nutrient. The number two nutrient is fat. Mostly saturated fat, the kind that raises your cholesterol. You don't need lactose sugar and you don't need saturated fat. Completely unnecessary. Um, and there is a third thing that you may not be aware of, and that's estradiol. It's a female hormone. It's made in the cow. Cows make estradiol anyway, but cows are artificially inseminated. Yes, they've got something wrong. It's, it's an unpleasant thing uh, that happens in every dairy, every year to every dairy cow. And they are impregnated and they're pregnant for nine months and they're milked during many of those nine months. The estradiol in their body goes into your ice cream. And if you feed that to your eight year old son or your seven year old daughter, you're feeding them with every dairy serving milk, yogurt, cheese, ice cream, sour cream, all of it. You're feeding them traces of estradiol, female sex hormone that they do not need. So dairy is a highly hyped marketed product. That's a peculiar cultural wrong term. Uh, that we should never have decided that we needed the milk of a cow on our plate. You still need it. Hmm. This is what why the Japanese call us butter stinkers. <laughs> yeah, um, it's funny. Uh, about twenty years ago, I was doing an interview with a Japanese journalist, um, and she kept when we were talking about dairy, she kept wrinkling her nose. And I asked her at the end at the end of the interview, I said, "You know, you you kind of had a reaction." She said. When we were in school, they kept telling us we should drink milk so that we'd be like Americans. But she said, I just hate it. I said, well, congratulations. You don't need it. You're better off without it. <laughs> I mean, it's just kind of weird to drink the hormonal soup of, of another animal and not expect to have some kind of uh, a byproduct come from it, especially when when you were talking about zits and stuff, and there's not very much research about it, I think. But you know, you get all these zits, and I think cut out the dairy and then see what happens. Um, there's that, and to tell you the truth, I mean, the things that can kill you um, are zits won't kill you; they just make you want to die. Um, <laughs> but uh, but the um, but pr prostate cancer back at uh, Harvard University in 1998, a huge study was published that looked at prostate cancer in men. It was strongly linked to dairy intake. Um, which could have been viewed as a research fluke, except that the very same thing was shown in another Harvard study a couple years later. And um, back, oh, gee, six or eight years ago, there was a good meta-analysis of about 11 trials, research trials, that show very convincing that milk-drinking men have substantially higher risk of prostate cancer. Okay, that's the finding. What's the explanation? The explanation is that dairy is a hormonally active uh drug, if you will, that's designed to make the calf grow fast. Well, you're not a calf. What grows fast in your body is cancer cells. Um, when you drink a glass of milk, something in your blood called IGF-1, insulin-like growth factor goes right up, um, and that stimulates cancer cells to flourish. Um, that happens in a man's body. It also seems to have, the best evidence we have for, for women is not as strong as for men, but it does appear to be associated with breast cancer too. Mm. So um, take that glass of milk. It's only biological role is to help a calf grow. Even human babies, they drink milk from their mom's breast. You know, once they're three or four, I mean, they like, give it a rest. You know, you don't, you don't need, uh, you don't need milk from any species anymore, let alone that from a cow. This is entirely a cultural wow. long term. Wow. So next time you're in the dairy section, you're staring at all that milk. Just ask yourself, am I a baby cow? And if the answer is no, just move, move along. Um, yes. Although you've noticed that the dairy case, now is not exactly a dairy case anymore because there is now soy milk, rice milk, almond milk, hemp milk, oat milk, uh, all these other products. You don't need them either. Uh, but they've come in and uh, they're a lot healthier for you to splash on your cornflakes. That's the uh, one, 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 one exception I would say. Soy milk is actually has health benefit. Uh, soy milk is something that actually reduces cancer risk. Um, the, the, the urban myth is the opposite that it'll increase cancer risk. It does the opposite. It actually reduces cancer risk. 